back, everyone. With so many new pet products on the market, a lot of us dog parents find ourselves asking, does my pet really need that? Well, Larissa is here to weigh in. Larissa. You got to help us out. It's hard. I mean, I've said this before, but Americans spend $70 billion on their pets. Oh, my god! It's gosh. unbelievable. B and the billion. pet Why? product world is ever evolving. Yep. And they're so good at making you think, I need, my life will be way better yeah. if I have that. So I try when I get get a chance to put some of those to the test. Fantastic. What did you try first? What okay. you got there? It looks interesting. <laughs> it definitely looks interesting. This is called the Puff and Fluff. Uh -huh. Now, the idea behind this, it was actually created by a third grader. And when you get your dog wet in the bath or if they've gone outside and you, they don't like to be dried by a hair dryer all the time, you actually put your dog in this contraption and use a blow dryer to warm them up and dry them up. And our producer, Liana, actually... I actually tried this with her dog, Stella, and we have some video to show you of Stella. Now, oh, see, here's Stella. what I want to say. The noise of the, um, of the fabric, it oh, makes God. noise. So Stella was a little nervous by it. So we gave her some treats. Okay. She kind of got used to just sitting <sighs> in the outfit. Oh, my God. Then Liana oh, turned the blow dryer God. on, yeah. and she started to kind of relax. Oh, look at like, her. That it took cute. a little bit. She was a little nervous at first, and then she just kind of chilled out, wow. and the warm air wow. circulated around and she was okay with it. It's, it's like, like a, a spa day. It a is kind of like a spa day. Or like day. exaggerated like heating blanket. Exactly. I don't know. Now it comes yeah. in four sizes and okay. it ranges between $35 to $65. You can get it at thedogdryer.com. Now I will say kind of what do I think kind of as a, yeah, a last thing is it worth does, it? Does the dog need this? I would say <laughs> it does its job and it's fun and it's funny looking but I don't think with big dogs, you could probably get them dried probably a little bit better the at the groomer. Small oh. dogs are oh. going to be easier well, because they, they, they're more portable and you can get this on them easier. But all in all, it does help with keeping them dry. And no matter okay. what you do to wash a dog, if you don't dry them properly, they smell like a wet they're going to smell like wet right. dog. So using it something like this for that could be helpful. Well, okay. the good news is you have this forever. A groomer costs money each time you go. Yes. So that yes. you could save money there. Yes, but I right. think depending on the dog, if they if they get spooked easy, this might scare them. Do they make yeah, those for humans? Yeah. Because they look very comfortable. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm I could fall asleep wearing I just tried to fit into the extra large one earlier and it wouldn't work out very well for me, but I feel very warm. Uh, you're, the second one that you've got here that you tried out is uh, for training, for helping us yes. to uh, train our dogs. Let's see. What it's do, what called do Doggy Don't, and it is a handheld device that emits a sound that dogs do not like. It's 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 called sound aversion therapy, basically, or sound okay. aversion training, I okay. should say. So when the dog is doing something that you don't want it to do, be it jumping up, jumping on the couch, uh, you know, barking a lot, you press the button, and they hear a sound that they don't like. So I used it with my dogs. This was I'm trying okay. to teach them not to get on the couch. So as soon as they put their hands what? up, I'm uh, you know. So used it and they they went down that interesting time, I just used my leg and then I started just showing them the clicker and they didn't like it and they stopped jumping oh wow. then I tried it with opening the door because she can be a little door bolter and she sat and then watch this when anybody comes to the door little maple there goes crazy so when she was barking we shut we put it off and then over time, she didn't bark at all. That really works. And that is that. very unusual for Maple. Anybody that comes to the house, whether they ring the doorbell or knock, she goes wild. So hopefully you could hear in that at first, it, it, the trigger, she was wound up. Over time, because she stopped, she li didn't like the noise, she stopped doing it. <gasps> that is a really great product. Now, I was going to ask you, do our dogs need the doggy don't? But if I were a consumer and I saw that video, I would say yes. I, I think to Depending on the uh, behavior that you want to stop, okay. it's a great tool. It doesn't hurt them. It's an annoying noise, and it stops the behavior over time. But you do have to be consistent with it. And some dogs, that's not going to stop them. Mm. So it just depends on your dog. But I would say if mm. it's a dog that's doing some just kind of pesky behaviors, I wouldn't do it if there's a danger situation. Okay. You right. always want right. to talk to your vet or a proper trainer if there's something that actually could harm them or harm another dog. But for things that were pesky, like jumping up on the couch, yeah, it stopped them in their tracks. Wow, that's <laughs> an extra one that you could lend yeah, me. Yeah, seriously. Like, oh, one, one more. 
Um, one more time. Does it work for humans? <laughs> yes, that does. And that's available at doggydontdevice.com, and that's about 50 bucks. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. Thanks, Lewis. Thanks. I'm asking for my friends. Yeah, right. yeah exactly. And you're going to remind us about today's yes, adoptable today's doggies, friends, too. We had two beautiful dogs that we, we met today. One was yeah. Karma, beautiful oh, shepherd so and, and retriever mix, available at the Lollipop Farm, the Humane Society of Greater Rochester, New York. Oh. Six years young. The owners were moving and dropped her there. She's good on a leash. She loves treats, older kids, belly rub. She's very social. And she would actually be free for somebody over 60 that gets approved to adopt her because oh. she's a senior for senior. Oh. So that's lollipop.org. And then we had a beautiful little girl named Dorothy who isn't so little, actually. She was a pretty large pit bull all white. She's a cancer survivor. She is also deaf, but she has the biggest smiley face. She loves her toys. She loves doing her little army crawl in the grass. <laughs> She'd be great with all people. When it comes to other dogs, she likes large male dogs because she's a big girl. Yep. And they said she can be a little bit of a brute when it comes to playing and right. wrestling around. Sure. So a large male dog would be best. She is at the East Valley Shelter in LA and you can email silvernightinc at AOL.com for more information She's on her. She's such a sweetie, a too. She girl. really mm -hmm. is, Larissa. Yeah. Thank you so much, Thank Larissa. you. Yeah. <laughs> Couple of cuties for sure. Now, to see all the animals we feature every day, go to hallmarkchannel.com, and you can also go to savedbytheel.com as well. Of course. Thank you, Larissa. And you all stick around. More with the family up next. Uh -oh.